folks. You know what time it is? That's right. It's the Abando Rano period. Go. Wouldn't he love if we showed up with a Genesee line for him? He thought he was done them all. Hey, Rev, look what we got. Oh, boy. <laughs> anyway, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino, you have Ali Alejandro, and we have this beer from the Junction Craft Brewing Company in the Junction in Toronto. Okay. This is Conductor's Craft Ale. So, 5.3% alcohol by volume. I'm going to go into this prefacing it with my only complaint about the brewery. They're ours. They're open Thursday. Friday oh, yeah, the, the, the and Saturday. Saturday, and for like four like, hours a day. <laughs> 3 a.m. till 4 a.m. and then... <laughs> <laughs> Not that bad, but it's just, we could never get there. So we, I got to try their Kolsch. I was I was a little, I wasn't sure how it was going to go down. Mm -hmm. Their Kolsch was the best Kolsch I've ever drank so far. Oh, cool. Uh, now, I mean, I've only had nine Kolsches, so it's not hard to win that competition. <clears throat> but it was, it actually had flavor, unlike other Kolsches that are so boring, like Pilsner. So I'm actually kind of excited for this. But this is also in a lot of bars, so it might be dumbed down as well. And it's canned for oh, mass production. Yeah, and, well, yeah, it's canned, so... But 5.3% uh, alcohol, as I said. Five hops, five malts, um, made after the old ales that traveled so well. So th this actually might be done well. And after drinking the Kolsch, it might be. I just had to preface it with my complaint about that the That was supposed to be made well. Yes. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> er, wrong! <clears throat> well, if it's done with five malts, yeah, I'm expecting a rather darker color. Well, there's a lot of pale malts out there. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, this is darker than usual for an ale. Well, depending on the kind of ale. Looks like it's actually got an off-white head, too. Yeah, yeah it actually yeah. does have an off-white head. So, a nice, it's pretty much orange. It's more yeah. orange than amber. It's brassy, I would say. Like, mm. Yeah. Mm. Looks nice. Off-white head, big bubbles, very pillowy. It actually it's good looking visual appeal. It's, this is it's very good looking, looking for like a pub ale. Yeah, definitely. Okay, you're getting um out of the can. You get more of like a malt sweetness. I get some wet paper, but that's not it's not terrible. Like it's not. Well, it's just kind of dumbed down, right? Like out of the out of the bottle, out of the kit bottle, out of the can, I'm getting some malt sweetness and some hops. Yeah, dumb. out of the out of the glass, I'm getting I'm getting hops, but they're very subtle. I'm getting some Cascade. I'm getting I'm getting a few different scents in there. But yeah, I get nothing... the fruit. I get the fruit, but it's not as heavy, and I get the malt yep. as well. But it, it's it's somehow uh, overpowered with that. With, uh... With a yeah, basically the blend of like. Hey, it does have some nice viscosity too. I mean, it does. Yeah, it sticks to the glass. Let's try it. Let's go for it. Cheers. Mm. I'm not it's, sure. The taste is the same thing I was smelling. Um. As if there was some sort of a coffee bitterness in the backs. You don't have to. You don't have to be quiet. You can actually just kind of bump downstairs. Yeah, and just come down, down here screaming. And I was trying to be a ninja. You're gonna ruin our professional beer review. Way to go, Vanessa. <laughs> ruin. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure what I think of this. There's. Um. I no, like it and I don't like it at the same well, time. I'm getting like a weird, you know, like a dirty nut sort of. Uh, That's like, probably the taste I'm talking about. Almost like a. On the back. Yeah. Uh, almost yeah. like that. Um. Almost like raw almonds, sort of, like that that the peel of an uh, the skin of a nut, sort of bitterness, and that that kind of dirty taste that you get. I'm sort this of getting is, that. Way. This is weird tasting, but it's not bad tasting at all. No, this no. is this is a lot better than a lot of things you can get in the bars right now. Definitely, definitely. It, it's uh, I think my problem with it is it isn't as balanced as I'd hope because it kind of it's kind of dead on the front. Yeah. I mean, you're expecting, with five malts, you're expecting to get a nice malty forefront, but it's overpowered with the, the hops on the background. And yeah, it's it's kind of nutty like you were talking about. It's, it You do get some, you get a lot of pine, you get a lot of floral, you get, you get a little bit of fruit. There is a little tiny bit of like caramel sweetness that emanates up at the end though. Like right now while I'm talking, I'm getting a little bit of sweetness, which is weird to get it now. Yep. It's almost like they brewed it backwards. <laughs> so that you're it's like good, though. getting I mean, the, 
The yeah, more, no, I can't, you know, I can't first, say it's bad at all. The first yeah. sip, I didn't like it. The first sip, I wasn't sold on it. I wasn't 100% sure I didn't like it. The more I drink it, the more I like it. Mm. It's like, it's growing on me with each sip. Yep. That's kind of funny. That's what I thought when I drank it. What, what, what is your thoughts on it while you drank it? Uh, didn't Jimmy. like it. I uh, found it too overpowering for me. I, I was, I didn't like it. It See, tastes uh, really sk like skunky to me. I don't know. I don't, like I, don't, I, don't, I don't find it skunky, but yeah, I, 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 See, I think we all find a, the, a weird it, taste. It was, it was too weird for me. I didn't like it at all, but the more I'm drinking it. I don't find it weird. It's, it it's is just, a, um, it is, I find it weird. I, it's, um, it's just I mean, not let bad. Let me taste it again so I can <clears throat> remember here. There's, there's a couple of caffeine pill hops going on in there, but... Um, yeah, but they're subtle. I mean, they fade pretty quickly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It wasn't pretty good beer. It was like it's the hoppy yeah. part of it. Um, it's a green little, and a little too bitter on the background mm -hmm. for me to really enjoy it. But how much were the cans? Two and change. Two and change. I'll give it a seven. Then I could buy it again and enjoy it. This is and a I'll six give it a five for me. Okay. See, I'd give it a seven because this is in so many bars mm -hmm. that if I'm out and my choices are like say this and it's it's. Huge in the Toronto area. I guess it's the bitterness of it that. Yeah, like if my I choice was, was like kind of this, off. or the normal macro things we get, I would for sure buy this. Yeah. Because it actually has a flavor. It, it's, it's a nice beer. It's just not, not enough for me to go actively looking for it. So seven. Yeah, it's a six five for me. I would buy it at a bar. I'm looking, like. Is what, you, right. what you just said. Six five and a seven conductors. No, uh, conductors not bad tasting at all. Craft, uh, from Junkin Craft Brewery, Brewing. Their bottled stuff. From what I've had, I've only had two of their beers now. Their bottled stuff much better than their can, but they're both pretty good beers. Yeah. Cheers.